Hello guys, today I want to present to you another new course that we launched on Laravel Daily Com, which is building CRM with Filament. And in this case, this will be ongoing course, kind of in progress. So we launched the first five lessons and the first section, teamed up with my colleague Modestas to do that, and you are invited to participate with ideas. What typical CRM features could be included in our ongoing project with Filament? So in this video, I will read to you the first few lessons. So you would kind of get the feeling of what it's like to create a project with Filament. We're doing that from the very beginning in this case, step by step from installing Laravel and Filament. And the repository is also included in the code. So after those first five lessons, the plan is to release one new section of lessons, five lessons or so every week based on your feedback for the future lessons. So be active with ideas here in the comments, on Twitter if I publish something, or in the lessons themselves, just comment below the lessons. And now let's start building. So we install Laravel. In our case, we're doing that with Laravel installer, so Laravel new, and then on top we install Filament. To install Filament is just compose require, we install Filament with panels, and just from those commands, we land on this. So default slash admin, redirects to login form. Of course, you need to migrate your database and create a user to sign in to Filament. To do that, you need to add a few things to default user model of Laravel, implements Filament user, and define can access panel, which in our case for now will be true, which means every user can log into our CRM for now. When we get to the section of roles and permissions, we will obviously change that. And we seed the first user of admin, overriding the default factory of Laravel. So we migrate with seeds, and after we log in with these credentials, admin, admin, and password is password by default in the user factory of Laravel, we land on this dashboard. So this is how easy it is to install Filament into Laravel, and that's a short lesson number one. So this is not about CRM yet, and here's where we're getting to the customer resource, which would result in the first table of customer list with forms. And from here, every lesson will be a bit longer, so we will add kind of a table of contents. So this is the plan for this lesson. Along the way, we will create database structure and filament stuff as well on top. So database structure for now for our customer resource is this. And later in the course, we're planning to add custom fields. So you can add whatever fields in the future. So we create that database, migration, model. This is a typical Laravel stuff, so I won't really stop here too much. We create a factory to seed 10 fake users just to have a feeling for testing to have some data. So we seed 10 customers. Again, for now, we're refreshing the database every time with migrate fresh because we don't have real data yet. So this is how it looks in the database. And now let's get to the filament stuff. With filament to generate a full CRUD, you need to generate a filament resource from a model, which would generate everything around customer. And this is important. If you add dash dash generate, filament will try to guess the columns and the form inputs from the database. So it creates these files, and as a result, you get a new menu item, which would show customer table. And keep in mind, we didn't specify any of those. First name, last name is just from the database. But of course, you can customize it. So this is exactly what we will do. Modifying that customer resource. Each filament resource has two things, form and table. So this is our form with all the text inputs with some validation. So this is, for example, email. This is, for example, column span full for description of a customer. And then here's our table also generated by Filament. For now, we haven't customized anything. So a few text columns, all searchable, and then timestamps, including deleted ad because we added soft deletes to our migration. And now what we will modify, a few things for now. And basically in this course, we will go CRUD by CRUD resource by resource, customizing different things and showcasing different filament features along the way. So filament generated the deleted ad column for now, but we want to hide it. A bit later in the course, we'll actually implement the archive and restore functions for customers, but we don't need that column here. So in our table, we need to either remove it altogether or each field can be toggleable, which means it will appear in this part so when you click this icon, there will be a list of checkboxes which fields to enable or disable. 
and by default this will be hidden by default as well as other timestamps by default. So this is one modification for our table and also another thing first name and last name quite often should be in one column of the table so we will merge them together. So instead of having separate text column first name and last name we will delete those separately instead we have one text column let's call it first name we change the label on top and then use the function format state using which allows you to reformat the column value however you want depending on the record which represents the current row of the table so from that record we take first name and last name and this will be the actual value of first name but also for searchable we can define which fields in the database database column should be searchable so this is the customization for the table and these screenshots prove that the search actually works and in the form one thing that we've noticed that by default filament generates tell for phone numbers and this validation is too strict and not really practical in my experience in our experience because phone numbers may be from different countries with different formats so by default i suggest removing that and if you do need phone number validation you should use separate packages for those depending on your country and the format of your phone number so yeah at this point we have customer resource customer crowd with filament the next lesson is about something related to customers so there will be lead sources tags and pipeline stages this is what we came up with while analyzing existing crm systems not necessarily laravel or whatever so each customer where did they come from from twitter website advertising or whatever so that's the lead source then tags will be for example for priority customers or vip customers or whatever there will be kind of labels seen in the table and then pipeline stages means that they are leads or customers or in progress or something like that and those pipeline stages should be customizable for the crm user right because each company for their customers they will define their own pipeline stages as well as lead sources so this is our lead source list by default and we will see a few known values but this is the point of flexible crm you define lead sources and then you would be able to choose those sources for customers so i will read you this lesson as well we define the db structure this is pretty scrollable i would say the same thing so each lead source may have many customers and we seed these values as lead sources so this is laravel stuff not filament and in regression for the customer we add a foreign id foreign key and in the customers we add fillable and belongs to relationship and we remigrate the data again because again we don't have any live data yet next we generate the resource similarly how we did with customers dash dash generate which actually generates that table and the only thing we need to customize is to add the delete action which is not included by default in the table so to the resource to the table we add actions delete action make and that would be enough by default but we need to add additional validation if there's at least one customer with that lead source we need to restrict the deleting action filament does not do that for you by default if you have any related records it would throw a laravel exception so we need to override that in case of any customers we show the notification with danger and return which means no delete action is actually performed otherwise success notification and delete the record so this is our customization and if any customers are present you would get this notification on the screen and then in the customers we add a select for lead source id which would look like this and in the table we also show that as lead source dot name which is the relationship name and filament will automatically do the eager loading for you avoiding n plus one query and will show the lead source like this the final thing in this lesson navigation so for now by default we have customers and lead sources in the same list but i already feel that it will be more settings like tags and pipeline stages and more in the future so we need to define a separate menu item and we called it settings and we do it like this in the panel we define navigation group settings and then that new menu item of lead source resource we add navigation group settings and the result is this one more thing that modesta has discovered that we need to remove that navigation icon in this case otherwise you would get this error 
So yeah, enough for this YouTube video. I already see it's over 10 minutes, so it's taking too long. I will just briefly show you what's inside the next lessons, but I will not show you the code. So in this lesson, we are working on tags with colors. And then our goal is to show tags in the menu item here in the settings and also show the tags for customers in the table like this with color. And then the final published lesson for now is about pipeline stages, which are very important, which is kind of the meat, the main thing of the CRM because customers are moved between pipeline stages, like whether they're lead or contact made or contact in progress or proposal or customer or something like that. Each company defines those pipeline stages themselves, including the order. And this is the main topic of this lesson. One of the main topics is the position. So that table will be reorderable. So the administrator could drag and drop and change the position of those pipeline stages. And this is very easy to implement in Filament actually. So just enable reorderable table and you will get this. But also behind the scenes, you need to take care of such things as new position, new number plus one added to the new record. And also what happens if you delete any record. So those numbers should be in sequence then. And then we add that pipeline stage to the customer form and see that in the table. So this is the result for now. But as we speak, we're working on the section two already. So I'll kind of show you a sneak peek, the customer table with tabs. So lead, contact made, and then moving between them will be kind of the next phase of the course, not published yet, still in the works. That's why we need your help. We need your engagement. What do you want to see with the CRM? We have a plan kind of a few weeks ahead, but we make it intentionally flexible to include your ideas inside. So this course will be ongoing thing for a month or two, I think. And I may publish some of its content here on the channel or on separate second channel filament daily. And of course, join the course itself it's available for premium members of Laravel Daily.com as well as all the other courses which are like 30, 40 or 50. I don't even remember the exact number here. So get all of that as a premium member. That's it for this time and see you guys in another video.